Today, Senator and Harvard Law grad Ted Cruz, constitutional expert, appeared to get the short end of a debate on voting rights during a judiciary hearing. He asked USC law professor Fernita Tolson whether she thinks voter ID laws are racist. Here's part of the exchange. So it depends. One thing we have to stop doing is treating all voter ID laws as the same. Okay, so your answer, I, I, I want to move quickly, so it depends is your answer? Yes, it, that's my answer. Okay, so what voter ID laws are racist? Apologies, Mr. Cruz, your state of Texas, perhaps? Okay, you, so you think the entire state of Texas is racist. What about requiring an ID to vote is racist? Um, so I think, sir, that's a pretty reductive. I'm not saying the entire state of Texas is racist. You just but said my state of Texas, so you tell me your voter what about I the Texas oh, voter absolutely. ID laws is racist. So the fact that the voter ID law was put into place to diminish the political power of Latinos uh, with racist intent and okay. had been found to You're have racist You're asserting that. Intent, What's your evidence for that? Uh, the, dist the federal district court that first resolve the constitutionality of Texas's voter ID law. Okay, so your view is voter ID laws are racist. How about you, Mr. Yang? I agree with Professor Tulsa. Voter ID laws can be racist. Okay, that's two. Mr. Sides? There are some voter ID laws that are racially discriminatory in intent. Hmm. Now, let's move past the shame of Cruz playing such a, a silly game Oh, you called the whole state racist. No, the professor didn't. She said, in response to his question about what laws, your state's law. It's a dirty trick because it's not about the law even for a legal expert because it's about something else. What? Let's bring in Michael Eric Dyson, author of Entertaining Race. Welcome back to primetime. Thank you, my friend. It's great to be here. What is your diagnosis of the debate? Well, it was a shenanigans. Uh, it was a sleight of hand. Uh, Senator Cruz well knows that this is not about the whole state of Texas being racist. It's about the fact that you can have a concealed license ID that will sufficiently uh, qualify you to get a voting rights uh, to have your voting rights and to exercise them, but you can't use your state, your, your student ID. So we know in North Carolina, for instance, uh, until recently when that law was struck down, that you couldn't, you couldn't use your public assistance ID or you couldn't use your state employee ID, which are disproportionately held by black people. In Wisconsin, uh, until recently, uh, well, well, now they accept military, li you know, live, enrolled, active military ID, but not the veterans ID. So the disproportionate impact on black people and brown people is sufficient. Then when you add in the fact that it takes a lot of money to get the underlying documents, the reason a lot of black folk don't have state issue IDs, 25% of black voters don't have government IDs compared to only 8% of white people. Why? Because the underlying documents are hard to get then trying to get them as a black or brown person living in rural areas, trying to go to the document centers, paying the fees anywhere from $75 to $175. Now, that doesn't sound a lot for people who are middle class and upper middle class, but for people who are struggling every day trying to make ends meet, this is a deleterious impact upon them. So when you put all that stuff together, the senator knows very well that even if you exclude intent consequences there and the disproportionate consequence on black and brown voters, and by the way, those who are other abled, disabled voters can be added in, and then you've got a nasty affair on your hands. So here's the problem. Polls of popularity. If you look at whether or not people want voter ID, let's say you take the Monmouth poll, which uh, we respect as a source, uh, from June, 80% support. Uh, there's another poll that shows that the number is similar even with non-white voters, uh, 80, 84%. So if everybody wants it, why fight against it? Well, look at what Ted Cruz did today. It depends on how you ask the question. If you're trying to set it up with disingenuous intellectual intent and you're dishonest, then, of course, people are going to go, oh, no, that's horrible. But when you disaggregate the data, when you break it down for people and you begin to ask them other questions, do you think it's fair for people to have to go for a certain distance to try to get this when they have other valid forms of ID? Well, no. Do you think it's important that people who have respect for the law and for government and have certain issued IDs but not others, that they should be somehow disqualified? Then the answer is no. So it depends on how the polls ask the questions. 
And let's admit at the end of the day, when Martin Luther King Jr. was fighting for civil rights in this country, the polls began to catch up to where the conscience of the nation was. Polls don't always determine what we should do. They register our contemporary opinion that should be shaped and molded according to the principles and practices of democracy that we claim to embrace. How dangerous it is, is it for the Democrats if they do not pass the voting rights bill that is before them? It is awful darn dangerous. We got to stand up. Don't be feckless or spineless. Stand up and say this is wrong. We know this is wrong. We know that the people are doing this, you know, rhetorical ledger domain as Ted Cruz was doing today, this sleight of hand. You know darn well that this stuff is not, does not have good intentions. It was good enough to elect old man Bush. It was good enough to, uh, good enough to elect young man Bush. But all of a sudden, there need to be vast reform when democratic power began to assert itself. This is not about the law. This is not about legal procedure. This is not about even the ostensible mess ups of the system, the hiccups and so on. This is about a naked power grab and the Democrats have to find their voices and their consciences and say enough is enough and we have to pass this bill.